All three major wildfires in southern Croatia are still active. Although contained several times, the fire on the island of Korčula continues to rage, with new firefighters arriving. Air tankers have been busy since early this morning on the mainland's southern Pelešac Peninsula. So far, over 1,800 hectares of pine forests, olive groves and vineyards have been consumed by fire. The diplomatic scandal between Croatia and Slovenia that broke out yesterday continues to make headlines. To recall yesterday, the Croatian media reported that a backroom deal was allegedly reached between the Slovene member of the arbitration court and the Slovene delegate to that court in the case of the maritime border between Croatia and Slovenia. Today, Slovenian television carried unconfirmed reports that the Slovenian judge had tendered his resignation to the court's president in The Hague. Today, Foreign Minister Vesna Pusic said the government is keeping all options open, including withdrawal from arbitration if necessary. President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovic continued her two-day visit to Israel, today meeting with Israeli President Reuven Rivlin, who called for stepping up cooperation between the two countries. The Croatian president stressed that Croatia endorses the international community's efforts to establish lasting peace and security in the Middle East and also supports the continuation of dialogue between Israeli and the Palestinians. In news from the wider European Union, the Greek parliament has passed a second set of reforms, paving the way for negotiations on the 86 billion euro European Union bailout package. The reforms include changes to Greek banking and an overhaul of the judicial system. And back in Croatia, military infantry units held their first joint rehearsal for the military parade in Zagreb scheduled for August 4th on the eve of the national holidays of Victory Day, National Thanksgiving Day and Croatian War Veterans Day. One of the leaders of the disabled veterans who have been protesting for nine months now in front of the Veterans Affairs Ministry said he will not participate in the parade due to the poor relations between top government officials and some veterans. When queried about this by reporters, Veterans Affairs Minister Predrag Matic said that as a private citizen, he is free to do as he pleases, adding that this is why Croatia fought its war for freedom and independence in the first place. In sports, three Croatian clubs are playing return matches tonight in Europa League qualifications. After celebrating a 2-1 victory last week, Zagreb's Lokomotiva will now face Pauk in Greece, while Rijeka is in Scotland where they will face Aberdeen in an attempt to make up for their 3-0 loss at home. In split, Hajduk will host Slovenian team Koper, to whom they lost 3-2 last week. The match will be aired on Croatian television's Channel 2. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. And finally, the weather forecast for the rest of the day. Moderate to heavy cloud buildup this afternoon will lead to scattered rainfall and even thunder showers, especially in the interior, but also elsewhere in the country. Some places may even experience heavier thunderstorms. Afternoon showers will occasionally be accompanied by moderate northeasterly winds. Winds will be light on the coast with only rare moderate southwesterly and southeasterly winds and moderate to strong bore winds on the northern coast tonight. The sea will be slightly choppy with water temperatures between 26 and 29 degrees Celsius. Afternoon temperatures will generally range from 33 to 38 degrees Celsius. Conditions inland will vary in the coming days, becoming increasingly unstable with showers and thunder, and there will be a chance of stronger thunderstorms tomorrow. Temperatures will not be as hot, especially at the end of the week. The heat will persist on the Adriatic coast with even very warm nighttime temperatures that will not drop below 25 degrees Celsius. There will be a chance of rare showers every day, more so in the north on Sunday, when temperatures will drop slightly.